Imagine your house is so energy efficient, your utility company pays you. That's the goal for many of the teams participating in this year's solar decathlon on the National Mall. College teams are here from as far away as China and New Zealand. But one college is giving back to our area. They have built a house for Habitat for Humanity. Lindsay Massis was there when a mother of three got to see her new home for the very first time. This is going to be my house. <laughs> this is just part of the house Lakia Cully is going to live in with her three sons. She's seeing it for the first time. It feels overwhelming, exciting. <laughs> the home was built by students from Parsons, the new school for design, and Stevens Institute of Technology. We designed a house that can evolve and be added to. There are solar panels on the roof and a host of other features to keep costs low. I like the bathroom. <laughs> they're doing many things in the bathroom to make it efficient. For example, they're using low flow faucets and they'll even be recycling the water. So once you wash your hands, that water will be reused when you flush the toilet. Cully can even monitor how much energy she's using. But first, the house will be transported to Northeast in the Deanwood neighborhood. There's just a mailbox out here right now, but by next spring, the house will be sitting right here on this vacant lot. I'm excited about helping to build the top floor, so <laughs> the other two bedrooms and the other bathroom. Because of the home's high energy efficiency, it's likely that she won't have to pay a dime for electricity. That makes owning a home even more enjoyable. And Cully is extremely thankful to students that made it happen. You guys did an awesome job, and I'm going to live here, so <laughs> you can come visit sometime. <laughs> In Washington, D.C., I'm Lindsay Mastis, 9 News Now. And she is thrilled. Obviously, you know, you can actually visit this home while it's displayed at the Solar Decathlon event in West Potomac Park, open to the public through October.